There's a popular beverage out there that, that, that has ads that have always just driven me crazy. Uh, in the commercials, this company markets their beverage as being colder than other beverages. But that doesn't make any sense. If I buy their beverage and I leave it out on my counter, is it still gonna be cold? No. You're like, Joe, did you just kind of need to get that off your chest? No, it's a helpful metaphor for our relationship to God's Word. You see, it doesn't matter how powerful God's Word is advertised to be if you don't practice what it says, if you just leave it out on the counter to go stale. James 1.22 says, Do not merely listen to the Word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. I confess, sometimes I just let God's Word go stale on the counter of my life. Maybe I read it, but I don't really take it into my heart and ponder its implications for my life. I don't act on it. But James says that when I do that, I'm just deceiving myself. I'm telling myself that, you know, yeah, all I need today is just to hear a few words of Scripture and then go about my business. I don't really need to apply it to my life. But it's no wonder then when I do that, that the word feels powerless, stale. Today, let God's word speak not just to you, but into you, into your life. That's why he gave us his word. He's a good father. Let's trust him. Let's do what he says. Oh, and by the way, you're never going to do God's word perfectly. There's only one man who ever did that, Jesus. And though he acted on God's word to perfection, he died on a cross for our failure to act on God's word. And that means grace covers you. So what do you have to lose today? Act on God's word that is given for your good, knowing that even when you come up short, Jesus has you covered.